Hi everyone, uh, in this series of videos we are working on the labs that are on the, on the, on the GitHub for AZ-104 Microsoft Administrator exam and we have completed all four sections of lab A now we're going to start the lab 2 and lab 2 has three different tasks and lab 2 is all about managing subscriptions and role based access control or are back and in this video we're going to complete the task 1 uh, of this lab so to do this the first lab is about implementing a management group now why management group is important so if you want to really manage different subscription and if you are especially if you're assigning a policy and, and, and for the governance um, you can create several different policies like your VMs cannot be deployed in certain locations uh, VM or size has to be of certain uh, memory it needs to have it cannot exceed certain amount of hard disk uh, you can assign all kinds of policies now the policies you can only assign to a resource level or at a subscription level now if you want to assign all those resource all those policies to a multiple subscription that's where the, the management group comes in you know if there are other advantages as well but uh, management group sits at the very top you can think of management group is a root node under which you have different subscriptions and under the subscription you have resource groups under resource groups you have different resources and resources are your VMs, your uh, SQL databases, your web apps, anything like that. So in this lab, we're going to create a management group. So sign into the Azure portal. So let's go uh, and then search for and select management groups. Okay. So I may already have an, an, a management group that I created earlier. So let's just go and see what I have. So this is uh, I want to select my default directory. So let's go to my default directory. And here I'm just going to search for the manage management groups. And if you search for that, here is the management group that's coming up. I can select on that. And you see I have already created one management group okay but for this one I'm gonna create another one maybe for this to do this lab uh, add management group so just create click on add management group and it's gonna open up this window to the right and we're just gonna follow the lab it's saying management group ID it's saying use that so I'm just gonna use this uh, it cannot be updated after creation so in your enterprise environment just be cautious and make sure that it makes sense what you're using and uh, uh, then management group display name is also this so let's put it here there are no other options and then you hit save so you on the notification it says the creating the group and the creation is in progress it probably take just a couple of seconds to create the group as soon as it's created I'm expecting this to show up over here and let's see if it takes longer than one more second I'm gonna pause the video and come back it didn't so it just showed up thank you thank you Azure and it also said hey group created creation of az104 0 to mg1 succeeded isn't that wonderful or right, let's go back over here and then in the list of management click on the entry presenting the newly created management group and then display its details so let's go so i should just be able to click on this one and i guess this is the details a lot of details no this is not too many details but if you click on it details is actually here Okay, so you gotta click on here to look at the details. Okay, most of the time it's a one click, but in this case you gotta go two clicks, like two uh, level down to get to this uh, detailed view of this particular management group. Now from this, uh, click add subscription and add the subscription you're using in this in this lab to the management group. This is something I'm not gonna do. <coughs> so it's gonna do. It's saying add subscription 
and then it's saying the subscription that you have you click on it and you do save that's all you need to do I've already done it for the other management group that I already have so I'm just not gonna do that but for you if you're doing the lab that's all you need to do to finish this section of the lab uh, anything else copy the ID of the issue subscription you clip you will need that in the next next task so what I'll do um, it's saying that I need my Azure subscription ID so we'll just go back uh, to the management groups and home management groups I already have this group and in this group I have already assigned this so I'm just click going to take that subscription ID from here and I'm going to use that for the next section so we have now successfully completed this section of this lab uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe and share with, share with other friends. Thank you very much. Good luck with the exam.